2010 in Canada, January 14, the Government of Canada sent two Canadian Forces Maritime Command ships with emergency supplies and aid for further assistance in Haiti. February 1, two young boys, Jaden and Connor McConnell are found drowned in a bathtub in Alberta, Canada. February 15, Canada closes its ports to fishing boats from the Danish territories of Greenland and Faroe Islands, as a result of their refusal to accept international shrimp quotas. February 28 – Canada wins its 14th gold in the 2010 Winter Olympics making it the most gold ever won by one country. March 10 – Environment Canada reports that the winter of 2009-2010 was the warmest and driest on record in Canada, an average of 4 degrees Celsius warmer than normal nationwide. Consecutively, the fourth G20 summit is also held in Toronto, Ontario, Canada on the same dates. July 17 – Parks Canada had a no-entry fee day for all parks, national historic sites and national marine conservation areas, to celebrate the 125th anniversary of Canada's national parks system. July 29, the Department of National Defence reveals that edits made on Wikipedia pages relating to the Joint Strike Fighter Jet and the Conservative government's decision to spend as much as $18 billion on the aircraft, were traced back to the Defence Research and Development Canada. September 28, Superior Court of Ontario Justice Susan Himmel declares the Criminal Code's prohibition of streetwalking and brothels as unconstitutional, after a challenge by a Toronto dominatrix and two other prostitutes, in Bedford v Canada. October 13, Health Canada added bisphenol A to Schedule 1 of the Canadian Environmental Protection Act, declaring it as a toxic substance. October 15, a nor'easter moves through Atlantic Canada causing power outages and cancelling ferry services. October 26 to 28, a severe storm affects most of Canada from Saskatchewan through to Quebec, 3 to 84 EE 48 E 59.